What's going on, YouTube community? It is I, Brad, coming to you from Nya, right? Nya. Just did a video on the X100T Revisited, which is a Fujifilm product. Uh, you can check that out. 13 minutes long about me just sort of very plainly going over a what I consider to be phenomenal, phenomenal product. I have part two of our wonderful How to Smoke a Cigar Introduction to Cigars uh, video. And this is going to be cutting, lighting, and enjoying your cigar. But first we have to go over the cigar itself. Cigar, okay? Inside of the cigar, filler tobaccos. Keeps the cigar lit, okay? Adds flavor. Those tobacco leaves are rolled up and then bound with a lesser quality leaf. And I'm not talking about quality as in smokeability. I'm talking about quality as in aesthetic looking leaf. May have a few holes, tears, not as pretty. Uh, that's called the binder. The binder wraps the filler tobaccos up, contributes to flavor. Then you have the wrapper. The wrapper is what's on the outside of the cigar. And this one might look a little bit spotted and kind of weird looking. That's okay because this is a JR Cigar, uh, this is the, their copy to the Monte Cristo White Churchill, okay, so then you have the wrapper on the outside, on the top, or the head, whatever, the cap, whatever you want to call this, we're going to call the piece that covers the top of the cap, okay, because you notice that it's uncut on one side, okay, it's closed off, open you can see the inside on the foot the foot would be the end that's open the cap is closed usually the cap is closer to the band sometimes you get cigars like uh, if i can pull one up from diesel if it's right at the top here which i don't think it is nope don't have one uh you notice that some of them have uh cigar bands at the foot don't even worry about but you have a cigar band on there as well cigar band we'll get into that on another video but there's your basic cigar okay we have to light cut and do a few things to it so go back to the cap if we look at the closed end we'll notice that it's wrapped that there's going up the side of the cigar there's kind of the wrapper kind of spirals its way up to the absolute top of the cigar where there's a whole bunch of little lines some cigars might have a few lines some cigars might have only one or two but my idea is I want to cut the top of this cigar off, but I don't want to cut too much. Because there's a couple different pieces of leaf that are attached up here that are glued on with sort of a vegetable glue or a sugar glue that keep everything together. It keeps it all nice. So if I cut it way the heck down here, the wrapper is going to un, you know, come apart. If I cut it too high up, it's going to be a very tight draw. So how do we know where to cut? Well, that comes with experience. General, my general rule of thumb is I want to take the cap off and a little bit more. So I don't know if you can see when I take my cigar cutter and I place it in there, how much is poking through. I would say I'm cutting on this cigar. I've got the cap and then I've got one piece, two piece, and then the wrapper comes in. I'm cutting somewhere along the absolute cap to maybe that first piece underneath it just enough so I can draw through it when I cut I cut straight I mean it doesn't have to be perfectly straight across I cut straight and I don't stop squeezing and it's one full hunk through it people who are new tend to want to do it slowly and I find that it crushes the cigar rather than cutting it we want it to be a slice of the cigar so everything stays together. Imagine if you will a dull knife sawing its way through tomato, it squishes the tomato out, but a real sharp knife chunk right through it. The tomato stays intact, stays juicy, and it doesn't look mangled. That's our ultimate goal. So I've cut my cigar now, okay, and maybe there's a few little pieces on the end. That'll come off on your tongue, little loose pieces, don't worry about it. It happens to everybody. Lighting the cigar we need our lighter okay uh, in the previous video I talked about accessories I talked about the type of cutter I use this is the cutter XI or the Zycar XI series cutter 
and I explained why I like that in the previous video. The lighter that I'm using here is a Jetline El Cheapo lighter, okay? Open your lighter or however it may open, and you want to make sure that it's producing a flame that's not big but not small. You want something behind the lighter to light the cigar, but you don't want to torch the crap out of your cigar. I take the foot of my cigar and the lighter, and I think of it like, I don't know if you do metal work, but soldering or anything like that where it's a very careful application of flame. I'm going to, in a circular pattern, try to light the entire foot of the cigar as slowly and carefully as I can. I don't want my flame to be, you know, if we can see here, I don't want the flame right inside the foot of that cigar. I want there to be a little bit of space. Maybe I do it sort of off to a side or on a kilt like that somehow. So the flame is direct, but not very direct. The cigar is a little bit dry, unfortunately. What I'm trying to do is I just, if I'm starting to get a huge flame kicking off of it, not good. I want literally a light toast. Circular pattern just to get the foot looking like it's getting lit, okay? This is what it might look like when that happens. Just real light, real careful. This is actually a little bit powerful of a lighter right now. But I'm actually torching the crap out of the cigar, unfortunately. So not a good example. I blow on the end of the cigar because I want the cigar to be well lit and glowing before I draw on it. I find that if it's under lit and I draw on it, or if it's over lit and I draw on it, I'm not going to get a good quality of smoke. I'm going to take the cut end, not the end that I lit, and I'm going to put that in my mouth and I'm just going to draw into my mouth. Drawing the cigar, think about sipping whiskey or sipping liqueur or something that's strong. Slow roll. Okay, we're enjoying the cigar. And that's a lit cigar. Um, this cigar was a bit dry out of my humidor. I have to check my humidification settings. Um, it seemed to light pretty quickly. So I'm wondering if something's up with my humidor. I don't know because some most of my cigars don't light that quickly or that intensely. Maybe my lighter is just a wee bit too hot. You know, you got to make those adjustments. But that's basically lighting with the equipment that I talked about in part one. We're going to look at the cigar. We're going to identify the ends of the cigar. We're going to take our cutter first because we have to open the cigar. Only cutting the absolute necessary amount off the top. Cut that with a good solid Okay, good solid cut. We don't want to squish it. We want it to be swift and quick. Toast the foot of the cigar. Get the cigar lit slowly. Once it's there and glowing, we blow on the end to make sure that it's igniting itself, that it's getting that nice red glow. I draw on it a few times and it should be well lit. If you need to go back with a little bit more flame to light it, Okay, and this is, it's already lit, but I'm going to do it for you anyway. Check this out. Lighter. Draw while the flame is near it. Quick few puffs. You'll see flame start to show up, shoot up from the end of your cigar. Stop. Blow it to cool it off. Maybe air out the foot of the cigar a little bit so it's not burning too intensely. And then draw. And there you have it, a lit cigar. Guys, take care of yourselves and enjoy. We'll see you again real soon.